My design wall has been bare for a few months. It's time to start a new project. So I recently finished the flamingo quilt that was on my design wall. All that is left to do is quilt it, but I'm waiting for Joanne's to have a sale on their batting <laughs> because nobody wants to pay full price for batting. In the meantime, my oldest son called and asked for another quilt. So I found this beautiful charcoal gray. It looks very masculine, like it has such a rich texture. I'm going to do the focal point will be this red. And then the background is a small print. It's gray on white. And I'm going to show you the quilt that I'm choosing to do. It's called State of Being by Meadow Mist Designs. And it's basically a modern take of the Ohio Star. You have one block that's completed in your accent color. And then you have the blocks that are just fractured and it looks like it's breaking apart. So I'm going to be adjusting this pattern because it is only for a lap size quilt and I need it to be a king size. And I also don't want the star right there because when you place it on a bed, nobody's going to see it because of the placement. So I'm going to move the star maybe just right here and then have some more broken pieces coming down on this area so that the main star can be seen when it's placed on the bed. I use my graph paper to make sure that I had the measurements correct so that it comes out to be a king size quilt. And then this is accent fabric that I wanted to use. And guess what? I don't have enough. I think I need a yard and this is most definitely not a yard. This is probably like a quarter of a yard. So I might have to go back to Joanne's to purchase more of this or I'm going to try and piece it. They're very similar in tone and the print scale is almost equal. So I could try and make it out of this. I have plenty of time. I'm going to be working on this quilt mainly when I go on retreat and see if it works. Otherwise, another trip to Joanne's, which go ahead and twist my arm. Make me go to Joanne's. <laughs> to begin this project, the first thing that I need to do is give my fabrics a good pressing to get rid of any of the wrinkles so that it is nice and neat when I cut my pieces out. I don't wash my fabric ahead of time. I tried that once and I did not enjoy the process <laughs> and I am never doing that again. But I do like to give it a good press. This quilt is fairly easy. It's just half square triangles. So I will cut my fabric in 12 and a half inches square and then place the background and the gray fabric together, the background and the accent fabric together, sew around it and then cut it twice and I will have four half square triangles completed. So for my red one, I'm going to need three fat quarters and I'm going to need a whole bunch of the gray ones. I already did the math and I have it in my notebook so let me press my fabric first i like to give it a good press with starch so that it is very crisp and when i cut my pieces they're going to be nice and straight and this is the only prep that i do for my fabric before cutting my pieces no washing just give it a good press I've cut all of my pieces and I like to cut them into squares because if you look at the pattern, it's it's just half square triangles. So I like to speed things up by making four at a time. I take two squares and I put them right sides together and then I sew a quarter of an inch around and then I just cut it diagonally twice and it leaves me with four half square triangles. I won't give you the measurements because that depends on the size of the quilt that you are making, but I will list the pattern down below. I believe her pattern is for a 54 inch square wall hanging or crib size quilt. I'm making mine into a king size, so obviously the measurements are going to be completely off. And then I just place them in one of these iris totes and I take it with me because I'm going to a quilt retreat 
and that's where I'll be putting the quilt together. Okay, we are here at the quilt retreat. I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse of what it looks like in here. It's quiet right now, but later on it gets really, really loud. So this is my station. I brought my little featherweight and I am just sewing the blocks. So if you notice, I sewed a quarter of an inch around each square and then I'm gonna cut them diagonally twice and put my blocks together. This is what I mean. So after I have the square right sides together sewn around, I take a ruler and I go from corner to corner and I trim both ways. So I trim from this corner to this corner and from this corner to this corner, which leaves me with, when I open it, four half square triangles and these should measure if i did the math correctly eight inches or eight and a half inches i have to double check when i'm at home i liked sewing on my bernina but when i go on retreat i always bring my featherweight which was made in 1937 and here's the main block all i have left to do is complete the shattered blocks in the dark gray and then piece my top together i'll make sure to share with you the final product Come back again next week. Bye.